Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out our ABC 3340 web exclusive from day number three here at the Rose Bowl. And now we are lucky enough to be joined by tonight's guest, our ABC affiliate in Columbus, Georgia. It's Jonathan Hoppy, sports director. And Jonathan, thanks so much for taking a few minutes of your time. Tonight, or I should say earlier this afternoon, we had a chance to meet with Alabama defensive coordinator Kevin Steele, and that, that's a rarity. We don't get a chance to talk to the coordinators much. What did he say this morning that maybe stood out to you? Well, there's been a lot of great quotes. Great to be with you, Johnny. When you hear from the Alabama players extensively, like you said, we don't get a chance to do that, sure. especially the coordinator. So to hear him answer the question of who really is the defensive coordinator, <laughs> That really took me back, and he said, hey, who do you think it is? I think it's the guy that's won seven national championships, six of them with Alabama. Uh, so that was just kind of a funny moment, but Kevin Steele, all business. He sits down. He's not going to make an sure. opening statement, ready for the questions, and of course he answered all the questions, but uh, he's got a lot to be excited about. Sure. And if his unit comes up big, to me, that's what it's going to take. If they can slow down Michigan's offense, get them rattled a little bit, I think that gives Alabama all the confidence it needs, especially offensively, uh, to win this game, possibly going away. I I'm pretty confident in, in what I'm feeling from the Tide right now. Let's stay on the defensive side of the football, and everybody is gushing about freshman safety Caleb Downs, not just Alabama, but Michigan players speak speaking highly of him. Uh, there was one person I talked to, a draft Nick, that said if he could come out this year, they believe he would be a first-round pick. Leads the team in tackles with 99. What's been your takeaway from watching him play all year? He's so aggressive. I mean, he makes those big hits. I think that's the number one thing that the guys that see him on tape have to be thinking, wow, Downs can come in here and blow this up. And uh, when you have players like that defensively, I think it gives your unit a lot of identity. Uh, and to come in as a freshman to do that, sure. I mean, so exciting that we get to see him over the next couple of years. But what I always think, too, is with these freshmen, the big time guys, you know, this is the college football playoff. This sure. isn't a regular season game. This is uh, when the big time players make big yeah, time put plays. Put up a shot up at this point. Pretty much. So Caleb Downs uh, clearly has the respect of his peers across the country. And uh, I think mainly they're just thinking, I don't want to get hit by this guy uh, coming down out of that defensive backfield with a head full of steam. Hoppy, final question. We're not going to do all Alabama. Let's talk about Michigan a little. Quarterback J.J. McCarthy has been so good for the Wolverines all year. Part of the reason they're undefeated. Now, they kind of run a more conservative offense. They run the ball a lot, but there's a lot of people that believe his skill set is almost being underutilized in Jim Harbaugh's offense. How dangerous is J.J. McCarthy, and should Alabama fans fear him on Monday? Well, they should fear him, and I, I was talking to some Alabama fans coming in that are feeling confident because they think that J.J. McCarthy hasn't been playing great. Sure. I wouldn't say... I think he is a really good quarterback, and he's someone who's been in this system for a while. It's kind of a slippery slope there because you want to utilize him, but you also, if you're Michigan, you want to establish that line of scrimmage. You want to be a physical team. Can they out-physical Alabama? Those kind of questions, I think, play into that game plan a lot. Uh, so how good J.J. McCarthy is, now this sounds dumb because, yeah, the quarterback's going to determine who wins sure. the game, but it's big because they need to be able to establish themselves. They've been bounced out of this thing a couple of years in a row. I was there at the Orange Bowl two years ago sure. when they got destroyed by Georgia. I see this matchup similar, right? Georgia is the, some would say, mini Alabama, uh, the Alabama comp, uh, you know, building sure. that program uh, off of what Alabama accomplished. So how does the physicality of Michigan match Alabama. That's what it comes down to, and we'll see how J.J. McCarthy plays into that. Yeah, there's such a negative connotation around the word game manager. However, I believe J.J. McCarthy is a really good quarterback that's being asked to be hey, a game manager. don't tell Cam Newton there's a negative connotation around <laughs> game manager. He hey, will disagree with you on that one. Speaking of Cam Newton, they cover it all in Columbus, Georgia, folks. <laughs> Alabama, Auburn, Georgia is quite literally the mecca of the Southeastern Conference. But for Jonathan Hoppe, I'm Johnny Condon in Los Angeles, ABC 3340 Sports.